In this lecture, we're going to talk about structural directives. And by the end of this lecture, you're going to understand what a structural directive is. And you're going to know why we use the star character for some directives only. So structural directives are directives which change the structure of the DOM by adding or removing elements. And there are three built-in structural directives, the ng-if, ng-4, and ng-switch directives. And these directives work by actually using the HTML5 template tag. And this is a, well, not so new, but a new tag in HTML which is specifically designed to hold template code. It can sit under the body element, but any content inside a template tag is not shown in the browser. Now we can actually write these structural directives using the template tag. And I call the way of writing structural directives like this, the long form way of writing structural directives. So let's go back to our joke application and rewrite our structural directives, the ng-if one, using the template long form syntax. Now this is a, a simplified version of our joke component. In fact, all we have is it just renders three jokes on the page and that's it. Now if we go back to our joke component, in here we have a p tag with an ng-if. Let's rewrite this ng-if structural directive in the long form format. The first thing we do is add a template code block. And inside our template block, we just add, well, the template code that we want to conditionally show or hide on the page. And then on the template tag itself, we add the ng-if directive. And then we now say it's taking as input a Boolean value. So we wrap it in the input property binding syntax. Then let's remove the other one. And now if we run our application, you can see it's still conditionally showing or hiding the punchline. Let's do the same for the ng4, which is a slightly more complex version. So we have an ng4 here in the joke list. Let's again add some template tags. And inside the template tags, we add the template code that we want to repeat in an ng4 loop. On our template tag, we add the ng4 directive. Now we don't input anything into the ng4 directive, so it doesn't need any square brackets. We can just add it just like that. Then we add let j. And this is just another way of declaring a template local reference variable. So this is how we're defining that variable j that we would normally loop over in the other syntax. And then we add the ng4 of directive, but because we want to input something into this directive, we wrap it in square brackets. And what we want to input is the list of jokes. So now if we run this, we can see just like before, it's looping over the ng4 loop and printing out three jokes. So what's all this fuss about the star character? When we prepend a directive with star, we are telling the directive to use the element it's attached to as the template. So in our ng if example above, we can just say p class. This is how we've used it before. Star ng if. And actually both of these pieces of code are equivalent. They're exactly the same. By putting star, we're just telling the directive to treat it as a template, to treat this p tag as a template. The ng4 is, is exactly the same. It just has a slightly more complex desugaring syntax. So we have ng4 is equal to let j. So this is equivalent to the template tag with ng4 and let j. And then to replicate of jokes, we add this. 
So all that using star does is it just is a simpler way of writing a structural directive with templates. So in summary, structural directives are a type of directive which change the structure of the DOM. They take advantage of the HTML5 template tag to define and the element they want to insert into the DOM. We can prepend the directive name with star to skip having to define a template and have the directive use the element it's attached to as the template. 